If you are somehow into electronics, then you must have measured the value of current by using a multimeter. It's a very simple process that you can connect your multimeter in series between your source and the load. By this way, you can get the value of current your load is consuming. But let's say you are working on a mysterious project and you want to display the power your load is consuming. So what you need to do is to measure the value of current flowing in the circuit and from that value of current you can easily calculate the power your load is consuming. And I don't think so a multimeter is capable of doing this kind of work. So here comes the purpose of this video an Arduino based current sensor which can pretty much solve your problem completely. So let's see what this thing is capable of. When some amount of current flows through a wire, it basically creates a magnetic field around it. And no, you can't see the magnetic field unless you're a superhuman. Oops, too much current. Anyways, as the current increases or decreases, the magnetic field also changes accordingly. So this IC basically measures the amount of magnetic field and thus gives us the value of current flowing through it. I guess enough of the theory, now let's wire it up to the Arduino. The positive pin connects to the positive of the Arduino, the ground will connect to the ground and the output pin of the sensor connects to the A0 pin of the Arduino. If you are confused then don't worry you can get the diagram in the description of this video. Now these two screw terminals, the current you want to measure has to go through it just like a multimeter in series. Here in my case, I am using this 25 volt light bulb as a load. One thing to mention that this sensor has a polarity, like if you get negative values of current, you just swap these two wires. So we'll check it in a bit. Now our hardware is complete, let's talk about the code for this sensor. You can get literally dozens of code from either Google or from other YouTube videos. But the codes I've tested so far are either a bit too long or doesn't give stable values of current like you can see here. So I came up with my own code, just 3 simple lines and you are good to go. What's different about this code is that first it takes 1000 values of current from the sensor and then takes the average of those 1000 values which makes it much more reliable and gives us exact values of current with, I guess, no fluctuations. So as you can see that in this case I am getting negative values of current in the serial monitor. I just have to swap these two wires and it's working like a charm. Now one important thing, the sensor comes with many different series like 5 amp, 20 amp and 30 amp one. I'm currently working with 5 amp one, which means it is only capable of measuring 5 amps. More than 5 amps can burn the sensor. And also in the code, you have to insert the value of the specific version you are working on. I guess that's pretty much it about the basics of this current sensor. I hope today you have learned a different way of measuring current. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then like it. And if you are new here, then subscribe. That red button, yes, either pass too much current through it or just burn it completely. I don't know, it should be clicked.